Hey, my name's Sean, I'm a senior, and you're watching TMA. Thomas, is this actually you, or is it just Tai Chicas wearing a very realistic Thomas mask? It's very clearly not a mask. See? <laughs> wow, skin could be abnormally stretchy, huh? Maybe like Elastic or Most Fantastic now? Exactly. Apart from the fact that they have very lovely nuclear families, I just have a cat. Why the long face? Try to have a more explosive expression. Ha 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 ha. That was not funny and you should be ashamed of yourself. Well, all right. Way to kill the mood. Speaking of things that are dead, do you remember seeing Obi just there on the floor of the last show? In Wall 2, he popped up. Oh yeah, I, I was watching the show over and you guys just kind of completely glossed over it. What even happened with them? Your guess is as good as mine, but let's go to the announcements. This Sherlock Holmes mystery may just solve itself. All right, but I don't want to be Watson. He has no fashion sense. Titans, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to a republic for which it stands, one nation, under God. Indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. Please pause for the moment of silence. Hello, Titans. Today is April 4th, 2024, and I'm Henry Lopez. And I'm Thomas Troche. And today, we're looking for the missing floor director. But, well, he's not missing. You can turn and you'll see him. Nice going, Sherlock. Don't you think I've tried? He just isn't there. So in agreement, then. What do you mean? You just call me Sherlock. That means you're Watson. No, it's like, like the saying, when something is just obvious. I don't think me being Sherlock was obvious, but I guess I can't help my natural detective skills. Obi and Will won't be the only murder mystery we'll be solving soon. Just turn on with the announcements. If you insist, the Summer Youth Employment Program is now open for registration. Eligible students will, work, will earn up to at least $12 an hour, but should work at least 30 hours per week. It's open from Alexandria residents ages 14 through 21. It is from June 26 to August 8th. Latinos Unidos is organizing an international talent show. Anybody can sign up, and they recommend it if you have a cool talent to show off. Sign up using the QR code or the link in the description if you'd like to participate. Are you ready to watch and hear good acting, dancing, cheerleading, stunting, and singing? If so, come on out and see the theater department's spring musical, Bring It On. First weekend shows are Friday, April 5th, and Saturday, April 6th at 7.30 p.m., and also on Sunday, April 7th at 3 p.m. All the shows are at ACHS's King Street Auditorium. Tickets are $15 for adults and $10 for ACPS employees, students, and senior citizens. You'll be able to buy tickets online and in person. You'll also find the link in the description down there. TMA voices Ben Del Negro and Seamus White go head to head reporting on the first boys varsity soccer home game against Marshall High School. Here's the highlights of the game. Hello Titans, welcome to the first Alexandria City Boys Varsity home game of the season. It'll be Alexandria City Titans versus the Marshall Griffins. Uh, the AC Titans start their quest for back-to-back -back district champions. Let's see how it goes. All right, and here we go. Marshall starting things off. Touches there, but unfortunately, sloppy passing gives away possession. Now, Marshall running down the sideline on the right Dangerous side. Dangerous territory, number 12 on the left again, but this time the Titans goalkeeper is able to collect and play fast. Nice ball towards the middle of the field. 
Titans now will push it back into the middle. And there's a goal by the Titans. Your score at the end of the half is Alexander City Titans 2 and the Marshall Griffins 2. He's going to take the shot, and that'll be another Marshall goal. Folks, that is all. AC Titans final score with a loss at home. AC three, Marshall four. Well, that's been TMA's coverage. Uh, we've hoped that you've enjoyed watching the game. I've been Ben Del Negro. And I've been Seamus White. Thank you very much for tuning in. You think that's exciting? Watch the full game on our YouTube channel in the upcoming week. Thanks to the TMA team for being there to document this awesome game. For sure, this year's soccer season will be an exciting one for both girls and boys teams. Attention seniors, as we get closer to the end of the school year, it is crucial that you check all of your graduation requirements. The Titan testing team is starting SOL testing for seniors on April 8th, so please check your student email if you need to take any SOL tests. If you still need to take a work keys test, either for your CTE requirement or the writing or reading SOL, you can do that on Fridays. Graduation is right around the corner, and you want to get these requirements taken care of as soon as possible. Email your counselor or the email below if you have any questions. Although Women's History Month ended before we went on our spring break, the T TMA would still like to honor some women in the film industry. TMA presents women in film through the decades. Let's start out with the 50s with animator Latte Reininger. To start off our Women in Filmmaking History series, we're jumping back to the early to mid-1900s to take a look at the German animator Lottie Reilinger. She was born in Berlin, Germany on June 2, 1899. As a child, she was inspired by Chinese paper cutting and silhouette art, and she would often put on puppet shows for her family. In her teens, she developed her love of filmmaking and especially animation. After notable work doing costumes, props, and animated title cards for various productions, she was admitted to the Institute for Cultural Research, where she began animating her own films. In 1926, she created her best-known work, an animated film titled The Adventures of Prince Ahmed. The Adventures of Prince Ahmed is the oldest surviving feature-length animated film. Prior, animation had only been seen as a medium for comedy and short humorous skits, but Rylinger proved that animation could carry deeper narratives successfully. Her paper figures could convey emotion and expression that was clearer than any other animation in this period. Rylinger was especially fond of adapting traditional fairy tales into animation. Some of these works include Cinderella, The Sleeping Beauty, and Puss in Boots in 1954, Hansel and Gretel and Jack and the Beanstalk in 1955, and The Frog Prince in 1961. In her 60-some years of animation, Lottie Reilinger undoubtedly pioneered new ideas and changed the entire landscape of what animation could do. Her impact on filmmaking history is not to be understated, and the effects of her work will be felt for generations to come. Thank you, TMA producer Viva Anderson, for introducing to us Latte Reininger. Hope you guys took a lot from that video and took what women do to heart. Every April, school librarians are encouraged to host activities to help their school and local community celebrate the essential role that strong school libraries play in transforming learning. April is National School Library Month, and April 4th is School Library Day. Let's help our librarians celebrate their special day. Well, now that we finished, what clues did we end up finding? I'm going to be honest, I don't even know where to start. I kind of just wanted the trench coat and the magnifying glass, but our budget doesn't allow that. Man, it's alright, because I actually found something. I think it's a riddle to where they might be. Okay, and, and what does it say? Let me read it out loud. I usually see you two to three times a day, but I'm also a good spot for homework and play. What could that possibly even mean? I have no idea. It still doesn't explain what happened to our floor director or why Will made a random guest appearance. Maybe they could be connected, but I think we should sleep on it and figure it out for next show. Alright, why not? See you later, Titans. Bye, Titans.